How the fuck are ya? What's going on, Kings and Queens? Royal Gilly here from Team Royal Gaming. Hope you're doing well, because I'm doing well. An interesting question was left on one of my videos that I want to fucking answer, because it's interesting. Entertaining. Hopefully, uh, Ricky Lewis here didn't get his ass beat, because he asked this question two weeks ago. And hopefully I'm not too late. Hopefully I'm coming in right in on time. He says, how are you supposed to gain the mental strength and confidence to just not take shit from anyone? I mean, maybe that's a complex question, but really? Not a complex question. It's a good question. It's one that I want to talk about. The first thing is I think that I'm a fucking hypocrite. Straight up. Straight down to the core, I am a hypocrite because I think fighting is stupid as fuck. I think it's some retarded shit. But at the same time... At the same time, if somebody wants to fight, like, there's almost a part of me, deep, deep down, that's like, damn, I hope somebody tries to fight me, because I really want to just, like, you know, beat the shit out of somebody, you know, that's kind of weird, right? But here's why I think fighting is stupid. I think it's stupid because it doesn't solve shit. Let's think of a scenario that you would fight somebody. I think a common one for people our age, high school, young young men I think a lot of dudes fight when like a dude fucks your bitch when some guy fucks your girlfriend or a girl you like da 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 something in that realm let's say a guy fucks your girlfriend if you have a girlfriend you know that might be a sensitive fucking subject thinking about some dude just railing your girlfriend here's the thing is it doesn't solve shit you can beat the fuck out of this guy still fucked your girlfriend and it would probably just make the situation worse, like, you just look like a piece of shit, like, if your girlfriend knows you beat the shit out of him, like, now she's mad at you, and it's just, like, this weird, like, fucked up situation, okay? That's a scenario where fighting doesn't do shit, and it's stupid because you're still mad, and you don't feel really any better. You might while you're beating the shit out of him, but then it's like, oh, I just made the situation all worse. And, you know, the best way to solve any problem, any... Uh, altercation or any issue you have with somebody else probably another dude yeah no only another dude you're not gonna go beating bitches up is to talk is to fucking you know whether it's like hey you know confront this guy walk up to him here's the issue and it's just a fucking dude to dude conversation come up with a solution text whatever figure it the fuck out like be that's what men do if you got nuts that's what you do you talk about it or you know, just say fuck it and not worry about it, but you got an issue with somebody, fighting really isn't always the answer. But, then again, I think if somebody's trying to fight me, if I'm standing there and there's like, he's ready to go and like trying to, he's about to try to fight me, there's no stopping. Like, it's not, I don't give a fuck about anything I just said. Fighting's not stupid. I'm going to fight your ass. Let's catch heads, pussy. Um, so yeah. And as far as the whole mental thing goes, if somebody's like fucking with you and you're sitting there like, damn, I don't know what to do, there is absolutely nothing wrong with running away from a fight, you know? I think it's pussy shit if you know you're going to get your ass beat and then you're sitting there like, oh, I don't want people to think I'm a pussy, so I'm going to stay and let my ass get beat. Because you're caring about what other people think about you. That's some pussy shit. If you know you're going to lose a fight, get the fuck out of there. Run. Dip. There is no shame in the game of running the fuck away from getting your ass beat. There's, that's fucking human survival. I mean, you know, some people have different opinions, but I think, like, fuck it, dude. Like, I'm not going to win this shit. I'm out. But if somebody's trying to fight you and it doesn't feel right, like, the only time you ever want to fight somebody is if it feels right. Otherwise, you're probably going to get your ass kicked. So the time it feels right is when somebody confronts you. And instead of, like, this nervous feeling of, like, oh, oh, shit, it's, like, anger. It's, like, fuck, are you fucking kidding me? Is he really saying this shit? And you start getting angry. And it's, like, mostly anger. It's not, like, anxiety and shit. That's when you fight. So if you do not have the mental confidence, then you probably aren't going to want to fight this guy. But you are not going to want to take shit. I've given advice on what I think you should do if you can't win a fight. You don't really gotta fight. You just gotta act really sincere and really like a pussy. And you go up to him and be like, hey man, look, I really don't want any issues. And like, you put your hands on his shoulders, right? Like, acting like you're like kind of being, a, you know, you're gay. You're about to kiss him or something. 
hands on the shoulders, you bend your neck back, and you slam your forehead right into his nose. Fuck, just fuck him up. Fuck up his nose. That's what I would do if I couldn't win a fight. Um, shit, I gave my secret out. That's kind of fucked up. Uh, but yeah, like, mental confidence in fighting, if it's not there, then be square and get the fuck out. Dip. Um, but yeah, don't take shit from anybody. And if it's like a situation where you're fed up with it and this dude needs to stop, you can talk to him, which is kind of stupid. And when somebody's fucking with you, like, fuck that. Send a message with your forehead into his nostrils. My advice. Love you, kings and queens. Hope you enjoyed this video. This is what I think about fighting and not fighting and shit like that. Leave a like. Goodbye!